conventional football wisdom does not even bring load management into the conversation. But Mike Tannenbaum wants to bring it in here. If you were making the decisions right now with the Giants, would you be considering sitting a relatively healthy Saquon Barkley? Yes, I would, because that's in the long-term best interest of your football team. Running back, unlike any other position, you only have a certain amount of tread on the tire, and you want to preserve him for meaningful seasons down the road. Unlike Daniel Jones, who needs every rep he can get, Saquon Barkley is what he is. He's a great player, and I would put him on the shelf until next year, where hopefully you make some other positive changes. What do you think, Swagoo? I agree with Mike, and the fact that you said re relatively he healthy is th the reason why he needs to sit down. Listen, you don't. This is this is the face of your franchise. I know Daniel Jones is going to be a big part of what the Giants do going forward, but Saquon Barkley is going to be who everybody writes about, and to have him healthy for the rest of the way when you actually do get good is the most is the most important thing at this point. Yeah, I mean, I always use this saving. Don't get this saying. Don't give up what you really want for what you want right now. What you really want is Saquon to go be a ten-year All-Pro tailback and dominate the NFL, but you want them to play right now. Gary Kubiak once said this to me about players, because everyone's going to go, well, how can you sit Saquon, but you don't sit this person or that person? And he said, I'll treat you fairly. I'm not going to treat you equally, because not everyone's equal in the NFL, and that's just the reality. And so we, he is a different animal. Now, let me ask you a question. Uh, because you're a general manager, and you walk in and you tell your coach, we're going to sit Saquon Barkley for the long-term best interest of the franchise, and he says, but you're going to fire me if I lose all these games. How does that conversation go? The reality is, hey, we're in this together. It's a partnership. All the decisions we make, when we make trades, when we trade back, this is one of the decisions we're making for the long-term best interest. Think about where Todd Gurley is, Greeny. I, I, I have to stop you. The coach is not necessarily a partner in all of that. You're, you and I both know you may very well fire him if they wind up 2-14. and 14. That, That's right. But, again, you're sitting there saying, like, this is in our best interest. We hired you for a reason to be the CEO of our franchise, and we're making a short-term sacrifice for a long-term gain, and we're going to hang in there through thick and thin, and we're looking for progress. And in, in Daniel Jones' case, if I'm Pat Shermer, I got to get Daniel Jones playing better, and that's the trajectory. Mike T, the just tell the head coach best of luck. Yeah, seriously. But does not Saquon <laughs> playing help <laughs> Daniel Jones play Yes, better? that's my question. Look, first yeah. of all, you're staying with the coach through thick and thick. You're not staying with him through thick and thin. thin. <laughs> Coaches don't make it through a whole lot of thin. Second of all, Daniel Jones, his development – will be greatly enhanced by having a great running back behind him, no? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, his job is going to be significantly easier week to week to week, and the defenses that he's going to see and learn from will be di totally different whether Saquon's on the field or not. Actually, ironically, Saquon Barkley really struggles in pass protection. You can actually make an argument. That they have other running backs that actually pass protect better. And going back to the bigger discussion about is your head coach going to be there, Pat Shermer, a lot – along with a lot of these other head coaches, are being defined by how their quarterback is playing. Pat Shermer's job right now is to make Daniel Jones a better quarterback. That's really where he should you know be what I tell You know what I tell Daniel <laughs> Jones, too, without Saquon? Best of luck, Daniel Jones. <laughs> <laughs> We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.